So I'm the Chief Executive of Crossrail. I'm accountable to the Independent Board of Crossrail for delivering this £14.8 billion infrastructure. It is a railway line that stretches from Maidenhead in the west right the way through to Shenfield. It'll bring an extra 10% of rail capacity to London and 1.4 million people to within 45 minutes of central London. So we're standing in Canary Wharf Station. We're actually on the ticket concourse, one level above the platform level, and there are four levels of retail above us. Canary Wharf was started in 2009, and this is probably one of the most advanced stations. These stations are huge. These are 240 meter long platforms, 30 meters wide. So people are always surprised by the size and scale. I think we set out to deliver a world-class railway. At each of our stations, we picked international architects to make sure that the quality of the finished product is going to deliver uh, the standard that we need for that world-class railway. So we're very pleased with what we're getting and we're very proud that this is going to be a world-class railway facility. So Crossrail is 50% complete. We are scheduled to open in December 2018. So what does 50% mean? It means that we've delivered 32 kilometres of tunnel with another 10 kilometres to deliver. That's 70% of the tunnelling. We've delivered almost 50% of creating the spaces and the stations in spray concrete lining. And we've delivered about 40% of our station tunnels. So we're well on the way. Um, we're on time. We're on cost. We're delivering the right quality. And we're well set up to deliver the railway systems and the station fit-out phases for the second half of the programme. Britain, UK has always been uh, a fantastic expert at tunnelling. We have often pioneered the sort of tunnelling concepts and, and, and the methodologies and Crossrail is a really good example. We have a fleet of eight tunnel boring machines. There's probably nowhere in the world at the moment you have the concentration of that sort of tunnelling skill. Are there any plans where they might go afterwards in, in so much as being cost effective? Well tunnel boring machines are very bespoke to the project that they're manufactured for. Of course a lot of the tunnel boring machine is recovered and, and is reused. Very often the shield and the cutting head um, is not, but wherever we can recover our tunnel boring machines, we will do so, and they'll be deployed on future projects. And what happens to Crossrail Limited after completion? So Crossrail Limited, in a sense, is a special purpose company. It was developed and designed in order to build the infrastructure. In 2016, will be 90% complete. So 2017 uh, is when we start testing and commissioning. In 2018 is when Transport for London will own and operate the infrastructure. So sometime in the last 12 or 18 months we will transition between Crossrail becoming an independent special purpose company delivering the infrastructure and Transport for London actually physically operating it. The design of, of a new railway line of course has to look at the security implications. Um, Crossrail is designed to make sure that we have you know, all the security measures that we need, whether we're dealing with a local issue or perhaps um, a terrorist issue around London, the operation of this railway will meet all the latest standards and all the needs that you need for a, a new modern railway system. Now, I'm very confident that actually at the end of Crossrail we'll be able to deliver lessons to future infrastructure programmes and to enhance the reputation that we've got of delivering on time and on budget. Probably a decade ago there was a perception that major infrastructure programmes were over time and over budget. You know, since Terminal 5, since the Olympics, since King's Cross, since High Speed 1, actually UK has demonstrated globally that it can deliver major infrastructure on time and on cost. I have seen Tunnel Talk. I'm certainly going to look at it in the future. I think it's a very important communication tool for um, a large number of people who look at your website uh, and read the articles. Uh, and communication is so important. You know, if we're going to promote this as a serious career for people, then we need to make sure that it is both exciting, um, it has a good reputation, it's safe, it's healthy, it attracts the full diversity of those people whose skills we need to deliver this home. And I think high quality communication like this is extremely valuable to your readers.